The answer is a plugin suite for film like color getting that is now available for Adobe Premiere Pro, After Effects, DVNC Resolve and others. It has a lot of frame profiles to color get any films, making finishing the films work easy. Thanks Dancer for making it easy which was really difficult for me as a beginner. In this video I'll share some basic ideas about using Dancer for my experience. You can get a trial or 10% off your purchase of Dancer using my promo code Arif. I'll put the affiliate link in the description of this video. Now I'm gonna apply some Dehancer frame profiles to the footage. After installing the Dehancer plugin, you can find this in the effects section. You can apply Dehancer effects to the footage or an adjustment layer. I always active the Lumity scopes to make sure the color getting easy and accurate while color getting any videos. From the source option under input, you can select a camera used to shoot the video. In my case, I accept the default setting. Next, we can move to the most desired part of the dancer is the film profile. Kodak Vision 3 250D is a default film profile that is automatically selected. Here you can scroll through changing profiles to compare and find the best profile for your videos. Dancer also has a few print profiles. You can choose any of them according to your videos. In this part of the video, I try to color correction the videos without using any film profile. It can help you to enhance the color of your films. The first footage is from a very beginner level camera Sony A6000. And the second is from internet. First I'll disable the film profile, then move to the print. Make sure the linear is selected. Now I'm gonna decrease the exposure to around negative 1.4. The contrast will be increased a little bit to around 3. For color density, we can make it to 37 or something like this. You have to follow the same settings that is not true. Everything depends on you and your videos. Film grain is one of the key features of Dehancer. Videos from current generation cameras are so clean and sharp. So we apply film grain to our videos to make them organic when required for some films like short films and feature films. Using film grain overlay filters or noise in the videos doesn't look real sometimes. Film grain form dehancer is quite different, can make your films more organic and natural. Bloom is another easy effect that can increase the brightness part of the video. Let's see the difference by turning on and off the bloom effect. That's all the basic ideas about using the Dehancer plugin inside Adobe Premiere Pro. I have tried to explain most of the highlighted portion of this plugin for my short time experience. There are a lot of tutorials about Dehancer. I hope all of those help you to make your color getting super easy and perfect.